Number 36. The following is the number of pirates on the planet and the average temperature of the planet. So we have pirates and we have temperatures. Part A wants the correlation coefficient. Part B wants the regression equation. And then part C wants us to make a prediction. If there are 10,000 pirates, we have to predict the temperature of the Earth. So A, B, and C. So the first thing you have to do in these problems is go into StatCrunch and type in all of the data. So in your first column, you type in the pirates, and in the second column, you type in the temperature. So I've already typed in all of the numbers, so I'm going to go ahead and open StatCrunch so we can see it. So here's all of the numbers that we've typed in. And what you can often do is you can relabel the first column X and label the second column Y. It's generally a good idea to do that. And let me just check to make sure I entered the numbers correctly. So I'm going to slide this down and just compare it to what we have. So let's just see. 35,000, 45,000, 20,000, 15,000, 5,400. Yeah, everything looks okay. And then 14.2, 14.4, 14.5, 14.7, 15.2. Yep, looks good. All right, so now what we do is we go to stat, regression, simple linear. Then you left click. Then you always pick the first thing, which in this case is X, and then the second thing, which is Y. Then you just go down here. I don't think you can see it, but you click compute. It's down here on the bottom right. Let me see if I can. There you go. There it is. Compute. All right, so the correlation coefficient, that's R. So I'll write that down. So R is equal to negative 0.887. And then this equation here is the regression line. So y equals, I'll use one decimal, or actually I'll use one decimal for the first one, 15.4. And then the second number, it's minus, it's got a bunch of zeros. So let's see, one, two, three, four zeros. So 0 0.000. 000 0, 3, and then don't forget the x. So that would be the regression equation. And let's see what part C said. I believe part C wanted us to make a prediction. Yeah, if there are 10,000 pirates, what is the predicted temperature of the Earth? Now we're supposed to check to see if we have uh, a, a straight line pattern. R is pretty close to negative 1. In the problem, they don't give us an alpha. They don't give us a critical value. So we have to kind of assume that, yes, we do have uh, a straight line pattern. In fact, if you had the critical value, you could check, and you actually do have a straight line pattern. But when all else fails, just assume there is a straight line pattern. It's pretty close to negative 1. So we have to predict it for 10,000. OK, so one way to do it is to plug in the 10,000 here for the x. Another way to do it is click on Options and then Edit, and then just scroll down and look for it where it says prediction of y right here prediction of y then type in the 10,000 ignore the level we don't need that click compute and then it should show up down here somewhere there it is pred y so 15.12 so 15.12 so that's our prediction let me do that again you go to stat regression simple linear pick the first thing pick the second thing Scroll down to where it says prediction of y, plug in your x value, click compute, and then scroll down, and there is the prediction. Let's go back to the problem just for a second. So this is going to be the temperature. This is the predicted temperature when x is equal to 10,000. And that does make sense, right? It's somewhere between 14.7 and 15.2, so the problem does actually make sense. That's it.